Next time you take a leadership gift assessment or a personality assessment or you do one of those tools or take a class to find out how you were wired, I want you to say to yourself, Christianity gave this to the world. Christianity is the one that said each one of us has value. Each one of us has gifts to give. They didn't believe that until Jesus Christ walked this earth. Make a difference for good and for God. In fact, say that right now. I will make a difference for good and for God. Say that. I will make a difference for good and for God. By his grace, let's do that. Let's move on. H. Anybody know what H is for? Heart. Heart. And heart has to do with the things that we're passionate about. The things that put fire in our bellies, which motivate us, that get us out of bed in the morning. When you're passionate about something, you, you just can't wait to get at it. My heart races with these things. If you were to take a spiritual EKG of your heart, what would it reveal about you? What are the things that you're passionate about? I was teaching this in my other church once, and there was a guy who said, I'm not passionate about anything. And everybody laughed at him, you know, because even Mr. You know, Mr. Spock even had a passion, you know, unless you're that. Didn't Spock? He was passionate about logic. Everybody has something they're nuts about. So what are yours? How many of you are passionate about cooking? Nobody in this church is passionate about cooking. We better not have a, pat, a potluck here anytime soon. Oh, my goodness. I know. Oh, yes, Alyssa. She says she's a good cook. I've never had any of her food in a year here. Nick, is she good? We got some more cooks over here. Yes. Fashion can be a passion. Some people are into that. Design. We got a great design team and an arts media team. And guess what? I have some news to announce. We have a new logo. I, we, we, I, I saw what they did. I asked them to come back, come give us five ideas. They gave me five ideas. And we all agreed together, which is the one that was, was bangerang. If you remember Hook. I'm going to share it with the leadership team tomorrow night. If, you're going to say bangerang. We have a design team. We have a new logo. Exactly at the time we have a new building. Oh, this is exciting. This is a lot. It's all falling into place. Photography. How many of you like photography? Chris loves photography. Some of you are great with cameras. That's a passion. Fitness. Fixing things. Inventing things. Investigating things. Come on. These are uh, horses. <laughs> Woo. Got that one out. Yeah. So, you know, whatever it is. And again, there are new ministries to be explored. Now, think, look at, think creatively about this space right here. What could we do with this space? We have 365 days at least to have this space. You know what I thought of? And, I, and I'm talking to Rob this morning. He thought of it too. What about a coffee house or a place for, you know, get past COVID here? Was that what you said or was it? Praise and worship nights. We're, we're tracking with each other. <laughs> Unleash your creativity. Lean in close to God. Let's start to dream together and have that conversation as well. Another way to discover your passions is to, is to simply complete the sentence, I love to. In fact, you have, you have room on your note sheet to do that. Jot something down, two or three things. I love to. Call it out, identify it, make it yours. God can use it. In the movie Chariots of Fire, you remember that old movie from the, the 80s? It won Best Picture, and it's an amazing movie, focused on a, an Olympic runner in England who's a strong Christian, and they, make no, they, they don't hide his faith. And in the movie is this great scene. He says, God has made me fast, and when I run, I feel his pleasure. I love that. You complete the sentence. God has made me, and when I, I feel his pleasure.